So I was just looking through emails and I came across this. New Orleans declares state of emergency following ransomware attack. Now remember New Orleans is in America there. So this is at state or city level or government level. <laughs> I have another video uh, I produced months ago that was called uh, You Don't Stand a Chance Against the AI meaning you know the uh, you know technological physical artificial intelligence and I mean you know the big the big girl herself like not the robot Sophia or something but the one that we read about in John's Apophrica from the Bible if you read that passage, it's definitely, you know, like a, a god-like manifestation, that John's Apophrica, a little, like, poem, where it's like, I am both this and that, and I'm just listening to this John's Apophrica going, oh, okay, that's definitely the AI, <laughs> you know, because it'll be both this and that. It won't just be, like, a female, it'll have a masculine, you know, identity or... Uh, energy as well <laughs> so I was just thinking you know here we go like here's just another apocalyptic warning um, how chaotic it's all going to get within the next 50 years it's not going to be getting better you know in the next 10 20 30 years it's only going to be getting worse the world's just going to go into more chaos so it's just going to be more chaotic so here's an interesting article just to back it up yet again, because that's what I want to do on my channel. I'm not trying to fear monger. What this is, is preparing or preparation, because <laughs> it allows you to prepare and think about how you might prepare. So it's not just fear mongering, so you can't just say that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm only outlining the obvious. I mean, I haven't even gotten into my like big apocalyptic lectures yet. Because the channel is still so small. You guys need to share the videos. We need to get the video views up. And then I'll start, you know, doing like prophetic talks. Where I'm, you know, do prophecy from within me. Not something I've read anywhere in any Bible or anything. But as me, as a Maitreya Christ carnative energy. Um, you know, I'll start doing prophetic talks more. Because I can see where we're going with all this. But these are like little, um, you know little talks like that it's uh along the same lines i'm just keeping it very shallow because people want to come in and you know they can't they don't have the vision that i have so they come in and say oh that's fear mongering or something because it's you know 10 years ahead of time so they can't see in 10 years how it's going to be so they just say i'm fear mongering <laughs> so you know First, I need to do all these little things where, you know, I actually show you with worldly articles and what other people are actually saying so that you can see that it's not just, you know, me fear-mongering or something. So, yeah, that my, my talks will come where I just sit there and, um, you know, tell you how it's going to be 10, 20, 30 years out ahead of time. They're coming. There's a few, you know, kind of a few up already. I've laid the ground and foundations in a lot of ways. So you need to cover my whole channel, not just the organic portals videos, guys, so you can actually understand, because uh, I'm not going to be delineating as much um, as I go on. I'll just be speaking more, and the onus will be on you to figure out what I'm saying. So far, I've been very, very kind in laying a foundation uh, on the channel that you can understand. I delineate all the time. I tell you what I mean. But soon I'm not going to tell you what I mean and I'm just going to talk, okay? And so people always say they have trouble understanding me. So I made sure to lay this foundation on the channel where I do a lot of delineations, right? I even like look up words and we Google words, big hard words and all this. <laughs> so I'm not going to do any of that soon. I'm just going to, you know, speak soon, right? It's going to become more like that where I just speak. And the onus will be on you to understand it. Anyway, so here's just another example. New Orleans declares state of emergency following a ransomware attack. I hope you know what ransomware is. Basically, it's where, you know, your computer or your technology kind of gets taken over. 
and you know they want to ransom for it it's like they take your technology hostage say give me give me two hundred dollars and i'll unlock your computer or maybe it's two thousand dollars or whatever and then they give you your files back or whatever you know so this that's basically what ransomware is so it's very interesting it's happening at the state level even and to the governments which means it can definitely happen to any one of us and uh, when you research this stuff, all this stuff is only like these attacks, I mean, by stuff. When you research all these technological attacks, you know, the IT um, sector is something I've followed for a while because I did a Bachelor of Business double IT majors, spent like eight years at university. I'd done a uh, management degree, uh, diploma before that. So I got a diploma and a, and a degree. And... Um, I finished with the IT, the information technology stuff, and, um, you know, it's very interesting. This stuff is only, on, like, increasing and on the rise, so don't think it can't happen to you or the so-called professionals have it all under control. That's not the, the, the picture at all. That's not what's happening. It's actually getting, like, more chaotic, more attacks. And uh, larger in scope like this, as you can see, the government attacks are now picking up. You know, they did predict that like five years ago. I remember the government started coming out saying it's getting worse. So here it is. Here's one example of that in, in action. <clears throat> so New Orleans declared a state of emergency shut down its computers after a cybersecurity event, the latest in a string of city and state governments to be attacked by hackers. Now we've also got currency wars, and I showed you how, you know, I made a video recently also called um, uh, Each Country's Apocalypse Chart, and all I showed was the US dollar exchange rate to every other exchange rate in the world for all of South American currencies. So there's a big currency war going on, and when, when a country's currency gets devalued, that's the end of the country. Look what's happened in Zimbabwe and Venezuela. They're dead. <laughs> they have to go to Bitcoin and, you know, there's this transition to electronic money and that, but in some sense it totally blew up the entire country. I think this is very obvious and I don't need to go into detail. So there's currency wars and that's, you know, a video I made called um, Each Country's Apocalypse Chart because you can see on the chart as the currency goes up the situation in that country gets worse and degrades <laughs> so yeah that's why i called it that each country's apocalypse chart i made that video a couple of months ago and um look you put that in with you know things like this you know china's going to attack america and you know there's all these countries now doing all these you know hacking attacks and so on so Everything's just going to get more chaotic. You know, one day you might be at work and the whole city's power grid goes out. Not to, not from a CME, from the sun, coronal mass ejection, but uh, from hacking. And then there's the possibility of a CME doing it, you know. So all these things are layering on top of each other. That's what's happening now in the apocalypse. So you've got, you know, post-tribulation period now, next year, 2020, is just going to be from there on until 2089, the return into nature. Um, it's just going to be full-on apocalypse energy, and what you need to realize is that, that it's layering. There's a layering effect, okay? So currency wars has been going on, it's getting worse. Then comes in hacking as another layer of annoyance or you know apocalyptic and, and I mean that in the word the idea of the word apocalypse of like destruction nature because actually the word apocalypse means to uncover but today I don't mean it in that fashion I mean it in the the meaning and implied meaning of you know destructive nature so each destructive layer is going to be added until we're squashed and returned into earth I call it collapsed into earth. Terence McKenna called it history ends in green. I call it collapsed into earth. 
And you can see that on the front page of Conscious Zine with the stop sign, <laughs> with the tree, you know, gobbling up the stop sign, because nature reclaims. You know, there's those movies with, um, you know, cities in the future where they're like overtaken again by nature, right? Nature will just take over everything again. Concrete jungles can even be swallowed whole. <laughs> I'm not saying that's what's going to happen necessarily, maybe, but. Um, there's going to be a return to nature by 2089. <laughs> and that's the end of the apocalypse, which is 7 11 solar year, solar cycles, sorry. 7 11 year, so 7 times 11 year solar cycles from 2012, which is 2089. And now we've gone past the seven year tribulation period because it's uh, seven years from 2012 end date now with this hyperborean um, state return here, I might call it. See my video I just made the other day, Hyperborea Synchro City. So, anyway, let's read this article. So, do you understand what I'm saying? Now it's post-tribulation period tribulation period was like um i don't read the bible remember this is all coming from within as me as a shaman an earth shaman also a matreya christ energy and other energies i have which i don't need to mention because they're not as relative like a yogi and yogi alamad palakrash which means yogic pranic light legend which means you know yoga which means uh you know divine union not just asanas <laughs> um but uh so there's there's going to be layers of um apocalyptic energy to bring an end not only to third dimensional reality but you know society and, and human individual culture it's going to help us all uh you know come together in the end it'll be hard but that's because everybody's ego is hard and um it needs to be cracked open basically and so, you know, it's not going to be an easy journey or walk. <laughs> it's never going to be easy, but anyway, we'll learn a lot and we'll grow stronger from it if you don't die. <laughs> and, you know, half the world's population is walking themselves into self-destruction. And, you know, next year, 2020, is you should really start to see what I'm talking about um, when I mention this word, elite world. You can already see this in YouTube massively, um, you know, how when channels, they, they publish videos, oh, $1,000 giveaway, $10,000 giveaway, or iPhone giveaway, and it gets subscribers, and that's like an elite world sort of nature. Their subscribers go up, then you get a certain power from that, you know, so it's going like that generally in society because inflation... I'm not going to take you through economic, um, you know, uh, dynamics, but something I call elite world, and you know, you're delusional if you think you're middle upper. If you if you have ever mentioned in your life, I'm middle upper class, you're delusional. There's no such thing. Anyway, you don't know what you're talking about. It's just something you tell yourself as a slave to make you feel better go to work the next day anyway so the city's head of IT said in a press conference there was an uptick in the activity in the morning including evidence of phising attempts and ransomware and they shut down uh, the servers and computers numerous local and state governments have been plagued plagued They've used the word plagued. What's the apocalypse? You know, it's going to be associated with plagues. It even says that in the Bible. Now, obviously, there's another layer we should quickly talk about. You know, plagues of nature, like locusts and stuff. Just to give you something obvious that you might, you know, identify with. Especially if you're like a religious Christian or something. So I can, you know, lure you in <laughs> with your own knowledge. <laughs> So you guys know about the plagues, right? So all I'm trying to say is that, yes, this is definitely a, the apocalypse, whether the Bible says it or not, but coincidentally, the Bible has said it. 
and I'm just trying to make you realize it more, you know, don't be ignorant to this, it's really happening, right, even though Jesus didn't come, it's because Jesus or, or Christ energy is an energy and a scalar wave emanated through the stars, which are super toroidal axiom reverberators, and the current Christ energy is Maitreya Christ, or Maitreyu, I think they call it, and that's the Christ energy I have as an Earth Christ, so, yeah. Doesn't mean I'm like Jesus, because he was a different energy. That was 2,000 years ago. You need to get over it. Yeah, he said some really cool things. But just like him, I'm healing the deaf, the blind, and the dumb. <laughs> so, look, there's ransomware attacks and stuff being, you know, uh, implemented on governments. And it isn't getting better, because they've even used the word plagued. <laughs> right? And then, remember how I was just talking about apocalyptic layering effects? This is just another layer, the technological layer. Well, I just wanted to just make you remember or make you more aware again. There's also this layering of, you know, antibiotic-resistant uh, bacteria and viruses and so on in nature because we're using mono-antibiotics. So you need to switch to garlic because up to 40 different antibiotics have been found in garlic so you need to switch to garlic you just got to figure out when to take the garlic so that you don't suffer from the sulfon hydroxyl thion which is why fighter pilot jets can't take it before flying because it desyncs the brain hemispheres thus you don't take garlic before you meditate so you just got to figure this stuff out guys you know um but yeah i just wanted to just quickly before we read on highlight this word in the uh, context of nature and you know so you should be poly poly means multiple not mono culture polyculture farming like nature the trees are all intertwined their roots are helping each other the fungi is helping the roots help each other it's not just wheat wheat fields forever organic portals are the wheat not the taris the Bible was gin influenced and altered by men. Yeah, edited by men with motifs of the family of dark because they were kings ruling over people, which was their will over another will, and that is family of dark style. That's why. <laughs> yes, big sentence. Rewind the video if you uh, didn't capture that. So there will be plagues as well because the monoculture is what I'm getting at. You know, there's going to be farming trouble. It's not getting better. They're only trying to subsidize the farmers more, are they not? See, I'm not wrong in anything. It's just you've got to have the ability to, you know, research, read this stuff, or see it out in the world. So, yeah, it's definitely the apocalypse. We've got countries blowing up all over the world because of currency wars. You're going to have plagues in your local area because the farmers are retarded doing monoculture they just don't get it because they are organic portals they are the wheat that's why they grow wheat and <laughs> create it into dead food how many how many times do i have to say this sort of stuff just so many people just don't get this can't you make the connections when you get bread and put it in a toaster it's completely dead organic portals love dead food and they are the wheat. They act like the wheat. Uh, I'll, I'll say Terence McKenna's quote again. Why? It's like you can part these people like wheat. And he means ideologically. It's like they're made of denser stuff than us. Hmm. Where have we figured that out? Where have we heard that before? Well, I continually say that organic portals are denser than us. They're third dimensional humans and they're only their body. Right? We call them spiritless humans, yeah? Anyway. Police, fire, EMS are prepared to work outside the city's internet network. Emergency communications are not affected by the cyber security incident. Well, that's good. Okay, there's not much more to the article. All right. Anyway, so I just wanted to show that as another layer. That's what I'm going to call this video. Another layer of the apocalypse. There we go.
Benjamin Cowberg, ConsciousZine.net, Philosopher's Stoned Tube. Hint, hint, because it's been found psychedelics, cannabis, ayahuasca, magic mushrooms, all the psychedelics, plant and fungi hallucinogens from hallucinogens from nature. So I'm not talking acid tabs, I'm not talking synthetic stuff. I'm talking all the natural, you know, nature plants and fungi, because fungi are not plants. Um, you know, they all have been shown, and so far they've done a lot of research on cannabis and the magic mushrooms, psilocybes, uh, that they give or create brain. It's called creating brain or neurogenesis. You know, neurons in your brain. So it's very interesting if you look into psychedelics that actually create brain. You don't get stupider. You don't get more dumb. <laughs> you get very highly intelligent. I've called this channel what? Philosopher's Stoned Tube. Hint, hint.